song came to me. I didn't write it. But it uh, Amen, Brother Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. God bless you. <laughs> About 30 years ago, I was in a bad situation, as you all know. And uh, got in a fight with a group of men. They meant to kill me, and they almost did. But before that, I wasn't coming to church, but I heard this little, still, small voice. Mike, you need to be in church. You need to be serving the Lord. You need to be where I love you and where you love to be. But I wouldn't listen to that little voice because I thought number one was me. And I just thought there wasn't nothing I couldn't do. But boy, was I wrong. Amen. After they beat me and stabbed me, pulled the guts out of my belly, and I was left in the woods to die alone. And that's where I was all alone, or so I thought. But there was that little still small voice. Yes. Talking to me and letting me know that it was going to be all right. And you know, that little still small voice has never left me. Amen. From that day to this day, I know I'm not number one now. There's, there's no doubt in my mind that if it's not for God, I can't make it. Amen. If it's not for God's people, I can't make it. If you are not in my life and God is not present in my life, I can't make it without you. And I can't make it without the Lord. And I still hear that little small voice speaking to me tonight. Saying there's somebody here that that little voice is speaking to tonight. If you hear that little voice speaking to you, be obedient to it. Because God is loving you, trying to help you, trying to show you the way. And he'll give you strength. When you need strength, he'll give you strength. Amen. When you need help, he's there to give you help. He'll never leave you nor forsake you, but he'll always be there for you. Amen. When we were singing the songs tonight, I could just feel the Spirit of the Lord, and I could just feel that all in the world is okay. Because when God's in control, when he's number one and he is number oh, one, yeah. all is all right. Yeah. Just like the three Hebrew children. They said, oh, king, basically what they said was, we're not afraid to answer you. Amen. Whether our God will deliver us or not from this furnace, right. only he knows. But we're still not afraid because we know where our future is. Yeah. Amen, There's no certainty in this world. Amen. There's no certainty in this life. Amen. There's certainty in the Lord. Amen. I know where my future is. Amen. I know where my hope and my life is. Amen. It's all in the Lord. If I'll keep Him, Amen. number one, yeah. in my life, Amen. then everything else will be all right. Amen. So if you hear that small voice speaking to you tonight, be obedient to it. Yes. Listen to it. Let it lead and guide you. And let it show you how to walk along the way.